Hi friends, welcome to Tivas E series Launchpad Programming Workshop Lab 3. So, in this video, we are going to learn about how the stepper motor interfaced with TM4C microcontroller. So, in this board, here we are going to insert TM4C launchpad and here already the option available for inserting the stepper motor so here you have to insert the stepper motor so let me see the how to develop the program so this is the internal circuit diagram of stepper motor or how to interface with the stepper motor through the pins so first i have to explain what is the basic principle of stepper motor so this is the diagram for your stepper motor this stepper motor's windings we call this stator and rotor. Here the stator, we have the four stators, connection line 1, 2, 3 and 4. Stepper motor, the rotor having the steps, so it should be rotated step by step. So we have to control the angle, we have to control the angle for the step, based on the step, the motor will rotate but in our program i am not going to create an angle just i am going to tell you how it will rotate step by step it means the constant dc motor rotate continuously instead of continuous rotation this stepper motor has rotate with step 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then after some delay 3 to 4 after some delay 4 to 1 this is forward rotation similarly you have passed the data for reverse rotation also so this 1 2 3 4 these pins i am going to connect it with the microcontroller pins so i have to load the corresponding values to the microcontroller based on these values the connection between the stator as made depends on the data. For example, in this diagram, PF2, port F pin 2 connected to input 1 of L293. So any microcontroller you want to connect motor, you have to use the driver IC. The driver IC we call we used here L293. What is the purpose of driver IC is the microcontroller output voltage maximum 3.3 voltage. The, this 3.3 voltage have minimum amps, minimum current. So this minimum current does not enough to drive the stepper motor or any other motors. That's why we have to use to boost the current using driver circuit. The driver circuit is L293. So, PF2 connected to input 1, PF3 connected to input 2, PB3, port B, pin 3 connected to input 3, port C, pin 4 connected to input 4. So, that the internal connection between input 2, line L1, L2, L3, L4, this L1, L2, L3, L4 connected to this uh, pins of the stepper motor. So, how to rotate the stepper motor? Just you have to turn on this pin this pin is nothing but pf2 this pin is nothing but pf3 so pf2 1 pf3 1 the connection between the voltage difference between 1 and 2 the current passed from 1 and 2 see the motor rotate this step 1 and 2 similarly the next to make this 1 0 this 2 1 3 1 so the rotation between 2 and 3 then make it 2 0 3, 1, 4, 1, the rotation between 3 and 4. Then make 3, 0 and connection between 4 and 1, you have to make this 4 is 1, 1 is 1. Similarly, you have to move the corresponding hexadecimal data. So before that, directly we have to go to that program. So as usual, you have to add the header files because in this program, we are going to, we are going to control only the GPIO pins so you have to use the header file up to GPIO.h 
then as usual the first line system control clock set you have to set the clock for your system next we are going to enable peripheral e peripheral uh, c and peripheral f so we have to use system control peripheral enable gpio b system control peripheral enable gpio c system control peripheral enable gpio f so f we are going to use pf2 pf3 so corresponding line for gpio pin type gpio output gpio port f base gpio pin 2 pin 3 similarly pc i am going to use pc4 so gpio pin type gpio pin output pin 4 and c uh, sorry b pb3 so use uh, gpio pin type gpio output gpio port b base gpio pin 3 so pb3 pf2 pf3 pc4 so how to move the data just see the diagram i'm using port f so port f has five pins already you know uh, that uh, pf2 pf3 so as uh, what we discussed in our lab one pf2 connected to uh, green led pf3 connected to blue led rgb right in default and similarly here in this port f pf0 pf1 pf2 pf3 so i'm going to use pf2 uh, input 1 pf3 is input 2 so i have to make pf2 equal to 1 the corresponding hexadecimal is 0x04 i want to change pf3 bit equal to 1 the corresponding hexadecimal is 0x08 so if you want to connection between 1 and 2 you have the data 0x04 0x08 i hope you understand similarly I am using that PB3. So PB3 means this bit is 1. So for uh, enable the port B, you have to move the data 0x08. So PB3 connected to pin 3. And uh, port C, I am used to PC4. So PC4 is nothing but fifth bit. So the corresponding hexadecimal is 1, 0. So now we are going to use four values for the rotation. One is 0x04, one is 0x08. 0x08 and 0x10. So by changing this four values in the four loop, you will get the rotation. Let me check. I want to rotate my stator between 1 and 2. So 1 is nothing but what? PF1 is nothing but uh, 0x04 and 0x08. Right. So in my program, the first line. I have to move the write the data 0x04 in pin 2, 0x08 in pin 3, and remaining bits are 0. Similarly, uh, I want a connection between 2 to 3. So this bit is 1, first bit is 1, so this bit is 8, so PB3 also 8. So 0x08, 0x08. Then I want a third rotation, I third step, I want a connection between. 3 and 4, 3 is nothing but PB3, PB3 means 0x08, PC4 means 0x10, so 0x08, 0x10. Finally, I want a connection between 4 to 1, so 4 is nothing but what, 0x10, PF1 is nothing but 0x04, so 0x, uh, actually here 0x04, right, so it is wrong, it is 0x04, 0x00, 0x10, so change it here, 04. So this is the way you have to uh, write the program to rotate the stepper motor. So next I am going to copy this program. I will explain you how uh, it will be uh, running in the uh, code composer studio. Just I copy the program right and I am going to uh, save my program and I am going to build my program. So after that building, uh, there is no errors. Then I'm going to uh, check uh, uh, debug. So the, uh, there is no errors in the debug also. Memory map is complete. Then I'm going to click run this button. Click this button for running the program in the microcontroller. And just I'm going to click this program. 
So now your program is installed in the microcontroller. We are going to check in that uh, board.